95.7 The Hog, Riggs and Guys, Brew Review. It's happy hour. Vinny, S. Opperot, Josh? What? Josh. What? This is Josh Sandberg. What, Josh Yay! Sandberg? Yay! What's going on, buddy, buddy? Wait, why is Josh here today, well, Vinny? I have some news for you guys. What I'm is it? going to pass the torch. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, to talk. Golf clap. So, golf clap. Golf clap. Of course. I am yeah. actually heading to <laughs> Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Really? Yeah, I'm going to be heading out. Today's uh, my last day. You're moving to Lancaster. No, it's Lancaster. Oh, sorry. I said it wrong. Lancaster. Go, cool. gotcha. Not Lancaster. Lancaster. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to be moving up to uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Pretty All excited. Right. Going to be working for a uh, very similar organization as SR Parat down here. Okay. Uh, they started in 1933. The grandparents were selling beer during Prohibition when they shouldn't have been. Really? Uh, great little thing. Looking forward to it. Um, so Josh has, uh, I'm going to let him tell a little bit about himself. Uh, Josh, go ahead. So I've been working in for about three and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, Vinny's conducting an I'm, interview. Uh, I'm, mic, I'm sorry. Uh, hey, let's, uh, Josh got hazed. His mic wasn't on. <laughs> 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 yeah. so, so worked at Parat for about three and a half years. Uh, I'm very passionate about crafts. Work all the craft festivals with Vinny. Uh, I have some massive shoes to fill. I tell people he's Vinny 2.0. He's faster. He's younger. Really? He's got a better looking beard. Um, he's ready to go. So um, we're excited to have you over here, buddy. And I'm I'm very excited to pass the torch over. I've been doing this 13 years. Yeah. Um, and I'm I know it's in capable hands. So I appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to it. Me as well. Thank you. Uh, all right. You, now there's a, a ton of other people in this room, my man. Yeah. So what we did is uh, we're gonna do some cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna talk about some beers that uh, got me started in the business 13 years ago that we still carry okay. that kind of really got me uh, sponsored oh. up and hit up oh okay there's a little so, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a rookie mistake there's a dance party that's a rookie mistake <laughs> <laughs> wow. and we're back is that Britney really Spears <laughs> oh wow this is this what happens whenever you get a room full of brewers that's what yeah, happens that's right so uh, what we're what we're doing today is I'm going to actually talk about some beers that inspired me Okay. Josh is going to talk about some brand new beers that came into play. All right. And we figured, you know, local guys, right? right. Um, these guys have been my family for a long time now, working with these guys, getting them signed, getting going. Get, look how excited Greg is. <laughs> all, all ready to go. So these guys were kind enough at last minute. That's why we don't have anybody here. It was a last minute thing. Sure. We called. We're able to make it out here. So if you guys want to go down and introduce yourself. By the way, this is like your Oprah's favorite things episode is what Absolutely. this is, right? It's like the book club. The Somebody's book club. getting a car in this bitch. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, wait. We're not? No you, cars. We don't have a car. Never mind. All right. Greg. Who, who am I? Uh, hey, Greg Bacora uh, from Wops Hops Brewing Company, located in downtown Sanford. I'm puking into the mic because that's what you do on a radio show. Uh, that's right, Greg. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Started my brewery four and a half years ago. Uh, local guy, grew up here in uh, Port Orange, uh, went to Spruce Creek High School, uh, went to the Navy after that. Graduated from University of Florida, was in law enforcement for 21 years, and decided I didn't want to be in law enforcement anymore. So I wanted to brew beer, hang out with cool people, and drink beer all the time, and life is good. That sounds more fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Steve Morgan, Alcatraz Brewing, short version, been in business for 11 months, uh, have really enjoyed doing uh, this show, and look forward to talking a little bit more about the new batch of Alcatraz Double IPA that we'll oh, be tasting Steve. in a little bit. Steve. Nice. Oh. Fresh. Uh, from Tomoka Brewing Company. Um, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put subtitles in, Vinny. It's All cool. Right. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did, someone pat, <laughs> did, did someone pat him down before he got here? <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've worked with the jerk for like about six years now. You know, uh, <laughs> I apologize for that. I know. You, you, you brought him on board originally. <laughs> so, yeah, it is your fault. <laughs> I, I do have to say I have fond memories of drinking in your kitchen for a long time. Um, of your original place there, trying to get you to sign with us and, and do all that kind of stuff. and uh, It was hard work for I you, I know. I drank a lot of beer. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, uh, the more I drank, the better I understood. So it was awesome. Hey, yeah, it was it was awesome, you know, to work with you, and you know, wish you best, you know, for your next adventure, man. I, I appreciate it, and you guys are awesome. And by the way, survived jumping out of a plane since we saw him last. Yes, That's he did. Huh? Yeah. He's still actually hand. still living, or it's a hologram. I don't know. Uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> and stick your hand through him and see. <laughs> so uh, I'm Ed, also with Tomoka Brewing Company. Uh, 
known Vinny for what eight years now. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, Ed worked with me for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, of course, Pete can't get rid of me. Uh, hopefully, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not today. Be rude. But uh, yeah, I don't want to test that right now. But uh, again, Vinny, uh, I learned most everything from you, so I'm going to have to be retrained afterwards. Absolutely. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I love you, man. Thank you so much for all you've done for us and all you've done for my career too. So. I, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad you've always been there. Uh, I'm Rob Bastos. I don't work for brewery. I'm a chugger, and I love Vinny. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I invited myself. I appreciate it, Rob. Thank you. That's the proper kind of love right there. I'm Jeremy from Tampa Bay Brewing. I'm sorry. And? That's, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you going to talk about anything? How long have you been in the beer business? Been, uh, uh, you wrote a book. A long uh, time. I, mean, I, just, I think, why do you, I don't know, why do you need all that, man? Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. you're a good, you, you've been in the business long enough. Okay, I've been in the business. A long time. I don't even know how long. It's been a while. I used to write about beer, wrote a book about beer, uh, drank a lot of beer, worked good. for Nola Brewing, worked for <laughs> SR Parash, worked for SR Parash. <laughs> Parash. That's good. Uh, under Vinny, Vinny got me hired over here. <laughs> so, uh, and then now I work for Tampa Bay Brewing, and uh, I'm also a chugger. There you go. Appreciate I, it, I man. didn't know you wrote a book. That's something new. Yeah, I, I, I did. learned about you. Really? He doesn't talk pictures, about pictures, but pictures are <laughs> good. <laughs> Simple-minded people like us. <laughs> Mostly stick figures he drew. And then, uh, go ahead. Oh wait, nice no, guy. Yeah, all right, yeah, so you, got him, you got him already. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to stand up. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kai. I thought you were standing. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to do the usual. It's already started. Oh. Hey, started. turn that camera real quick. Hey, <laughs> oh. Hey, so, so I'm going to do what we always do. Vinny, what do we have first? All right. Well, I just want to say one thing before I get started. Um, you know how I made fun of your hands being tiny? I apologize for that. Not really. But we always talk about small hands. I found something that I can make fun of that's even smaller. Oh. Oh. Look at his nose. Check his nose out there. So we, no we talk about the whole Well, thing. before you open that beer, <laughs> before you open that beer, I've been hiding something from you. These aren't my real hands. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, Vinny. Ah. Hold on. Guy brought his... Here are my hand. real hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That holds a beer. That's yes, right. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's right. yeah. awesome. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it should have. He's about to get ice. This is going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> still There's still time. There's still time. All right, guys. So uh, what I've decided to do is, uh, you know, when I started 13 years ago, I started with SR Pratt. I had a route uh, kind of like Josh did. Um, we ended up uh, bringing in some craft beer. Uh, while I was on that route, I wanted to, I wanted to prize for selling the most Sam Adams and then I won another prize for selling another craft. We only had like two crafts. Um, so I uh, okay. <laughs> All right. It's so. his last episode. <laughs> He's just getting the hang of it though. I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> so anyway, a uh, couple of the crafts that we signed on were Orange Blossom Pilsner Okay. and that's uh, Tom Mench. We've had him on the show before. Mm -hmm. And Rogue Dead Guy. Uh, these are the beers that I really, uh, I drank better beers back mm -hmm. then, but you know I really wasn't exposed to crafts. Okay. Uh, these are the beers that kind of got me started and working and realizing that there's better flavor out there, better styles okay. out there, and then I've taken it from that point and, and grew with it. So cool. we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with Orange Blossom. Um, he's made in uh, Lakeland and is made with fresh um, honey uh, from Florida, and it's a pilsner, and it has a. Uh, was it a teaspoon and a half of honey per can? Uh, and what happens is since it is a Pilsner, it's a lager yeast, and it consumes most of that sugar. Okay. So you're not getting the super sweet beer. And, and it's, it's also beer. local honey, right? And it's local honey. Yes. yes. Absolutely. That's right. So um, this is a great beer. Like I say, Tom's been around a long time. You guys probably know what. Jeez, I'm grow. He's been around forever. Um, so he's been in the business here in Florida. He's he's the one that kind of brought a lot of these craft beers into Florida. He started a distributorship. Really? Um, he's one of them. There was another distributor around, but he was he was out there and about there. So. Right. Any can, I, can I add a side note about this beer? Absolutely. I've been told that this beer is now so successful that he has changed the contract pricing for Orange uh, Blossom Honey in the local market. Oh, you're serious? Absolutely. Ooh. Holy mackerel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, one He's other altered thing I a found market. Out, you know our friends from Sugar Works? Oh, yeah. I guess Tom was up there with his beer, and they were distilling OVP down into a liquor, so I'm not sure what's going to happen with that or where oh, it's going, but okay. it should be happening. Well, 
chase that down in exactly. NSB ASAP. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, just, uh, throw some letters at you. Well, that's good. That's good. So. Makes me want to lick a bee's ass. <laughs> I have done that before. You know? Watch out, you get stung. You want to do it? I know. It's not yeah. bad. I mean, the, the tingle hurts for a little bit, but then your tongue swells up, and then afterwards, yeah. you're good. Yeah, it actually makes it more fun. Yeah, but That's the honey good. tastes better. Yeah. <laughs> so this was your introductory, one of your introductory uh, brews. Yep. One of my introductory wow. brews, right? Because uh, back in the day, when I first started, uh, I think we had maybe 15 breweries in Florida back then, 13 years ago. 15? I was looking at you, Greg. Yeah. I was looking at you, I think. Yeah. So, I don't think I had that. Not even 15, right? So, yeah. So, uh, you know, we had Scar City. We had Tampa Bay. Uh, I know we had... Um, Saint, Saint uh, somewhere. Saint somewhere. Jordan we had Dunedin. Yeah. 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 So, and then we had Orange Blossom. So, he's he's one of the headers to go out. And and you can find OBP anywhere. Yeah. Uh, they're out there anywhere. Any store. Toe Wine. ABC. Right. Uh, I think some of the publics have them. So he's out and about. He's been out a long time. Look at or, the aisle, not the honey aisle. Or you can go to srprod.com beer finder. Good point. Absolutely. Very good point. So the next one we have is I've actually bought a special bottle. Um, normally oh, yeah. this comes in a, a 12 ounce can, but this is actually a 22 ounce bottle that they also produce that glows in the dark. So oh. when I first started with uh, SR Prot. These are the bottles that we got in, mm -hmm. uh, and they come out with it a couple times a year, and we actually yeah. have a few cases of it to uh, bring in. Does That's the bottle actually glow, or does the label glow? The dead guy glows. Uh, yeah. um, I don't have one. I do a lot of drinking in my panic room in the dark, so this is going to be great. <laughs> yeah. That'd be awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm Let's looking get, forward to all set up trying that out. Radio. So, is it that the reason for the panic yeah. room? <laughs> this, <laughs> is a, this is <laughs> technically a panic room. <laughs> this is a my box style. Stress. And um, one of the reasons why it's called dead guy. Is um, Portland, Oregon is where this beer is out of, and uh, oh, sorry, can you pour me a little bit? <laughs> Portland, Oregon is where this is out of, uh, <laughs> and uh, the sister city for Portland is Mexico oh, City, man. and they wanted to really? celebrate Day of the Dead. Yep. Okay. So they created this beer for the Day of the oh, Dead. It's so good. Absolutely. You see a nice golden hue color, uh, real uh, uh, good malty, uh, real malt flavor. Um, not quite a bite to it with the hops. Yeah. It's nice and clean. What brought you, what was the uh, attraction to you for this beer? Because I'm on the name. Yeah. And number two, back then, stepping up into new craft beers, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't a heavy beer to start with. Yeah. Right? It wasn't yeah. super Smooth. hoppy. It wasn't yeah. super um, bitter. Well, look at that. There's still some right. left. No. <laughs> so it was a great beer to really get me uh, started, get mm -hmm. my palate moving. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget when I first got the job, I had an old Yamaha XS 1100 motorcycle. I'm heading into work. I got my leather jacket on, beard flying, skull helmet. I pull in, and the road guy just walks in, and he goes to my boss. He goes, who's your craft guy? Lewis. And Lewis goes, oh, here he comes. I'm pulling up on the bike. He's like, guys, oh, perfect. You got it. He's good. So he fits the mold. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and then, you know, from then, from there, we kind of acquired more, more breweries um, and then more breweries, and then it was my job to go out and actually talk to breweries and try to get them in. I suckered all these guys, except for Tampa. They came to us. Um, oh. <laughs> and we suckered them all in to, to come and, and uh, uh, sign with them. You know, I Smart. remember signing Stone Brewing. I was on vacation mm -hmm. in Key West. I was getting yelled at by the uh, uh, ex-girlfriend. Really? I'm like, I'm signing these guys. Hold on. So it worked out pretty good. So. <laughs> Working a cell phone. Exactly. exactly. In a now, thong. There's 7,000 breweries out there. Yeah. Um, we're kind of slowing down on what we're bringing in. Yeah. And we want to concentrate on who we have. Yeah. So that's why it's uh, Josh's turn to kind of step up and really work with who we have and, and, and get that focused. So with that, I'm going to turn the mic over to Josh. Josh. Let him talk come about on. his two beers that he brought and why he likes them and why he's excited. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, these are a couple new beers out. This actually, I believe this month just came out for a distributorship. Um, I got one from Oscar Blues and one from Dogfish Head. I believe most people have heard about these if you're in a craft beer. Excellent. Um, the first one is actually going to be a rotational, I guess you could say seasonal. Uh, it's called Can of Bliss and they're going to do a, right, the one I have today is a tropical IPA and I believe they're going to be switching over to a hazy and a couple other different styles throughout okay. the year. Um, What's the difference between a tropical and a hazy IPA? It's the hops that they're using in there. So a hazy IPA is unfiltered. Um, so I, I see what you're doing. Um, but the IPA is an unfiltered IPA. Uh, tropical is just the notes that they have coming from the hops that they're using in there. These guys can explain a little bit better 
on which hops have more tropical and which not. I way, guy, that, that was but, not done on purpose. By the way, guy, I Jeremy promise. was not taking questions yet. Or Josh was not taking questions yet. So, <laughs> so, uh, Jeremy's not either. <laughs> <laughs> all you, you got to say is, bro, they just making stuff yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I promise I did not do that on purpose. Yeah. They're just making stuff up. Let's see what kind of facts I can throw in there. Hey, cut him a slack. It's his first day. Yeah. You guys remember my first day? Yeah, we do. That's when you talk like this. We're talking about it on the radio. Well, wait, wait, look. Well, let's flash Hi. back to that this right now. Total wine. Um, if you oh, want to do some mom premise. Yeah, I can't down. believe you wore that. I know. That was fun. Wow. Okay. All right. All right, All right good. So I have not had this beer. Can we drink the beer? I mean, this is the first yeah, time I've had this beer. So we're, in, we're in that direction. Um, <laughs> so, like I said, it has some various hops in it. So, you're going to get a whole bunch of different notes a little bit of fruity, a little bit of floral, some citrus. It's a delicious beer. It smells good so far. Oh damn! Oh, that's good. It's a dank wow. beer. Thanks. I've never had this beer before. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. What is that? It's yeah. called uh, Candle Bliss. So what they're going to do is they're going to change the hop out. Um, I think four times a year. Mm-hmm. So you'll have a little different, different not exactly punch. Not shy on the names, are they? No. No. <laughs> no. That's special. <clears throat> I like it. And that's by Oscar Blues. Oscar Blues. Yeah, I feel I feel like I'm getting healthy having this beer. Is that possible? Well, wait till the next one. Oh, good. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I got That's seven point two percent ABV yeah. too. Yes. So but nice. It's it's, it's, a, little bit it's a little dangerous. <laughs> like I licked a produce aisle. All right. <laughs> good. That's right in a good way. In a good way. All right. So the other one I got for you guys is Super Eight from uh, Dogfish. It's a Goza. So you get a little bit of that. Kind of tart, a little bit of saltiness. Okay. Um, the reason I chose this one, I thought it was a pretty neat story. Uh, the CEO was on a podcast with another gentleman, and they figured out if the acidic levels, or sorry, the pH levels were low enough, they might be able to uh, develop film. Okay. And they did it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep. So it has. So this beer has been used to develop pictures. Correct. Yep. Wow. Um, Wait, what? <laughs> and how did they get in my shower? Never mind. <laughs> right. Let's move so, forward. Those pictures you're trying yeah, that's no, fine. Yeah, those pictures uh, I actually, yeah. It was, it, was, uh, it was my hand. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, it has, I believe, seven different fruits in it and quinoa, of all things. So <laughs> Really? Yeah. Man. Um, so you're definitely going to get a lot of fruit notes to it. And uh, like I said, you'll get that, that tartness and a little bit of salt from the Himalayan's uh, sea salt. So we're going to open up a second can because you got to understand when it comes to good IPAs and, and sours and doses. Guy has a habit of taking the can uh-huh. and finishing it. He does. We have a chance to get the best Yeah, that's true. That's true. No, a different guy. He's, a, he's an A guy. So th- this one's gonna be this one's gonna be actually a, a, a nice light drinker because it's five point three ABV, right? Oh man. It's it's, wow. it's a super fruit goza. You know, I've learned about dogfish head. Superfood. They're out of their damn minds. They're out of their damn minds in the, in the best possible way. Thank you, Vinny. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, wow. I didn't do it on purpose. Put the color on it's very bright. I would say bright. That's like a sucker punch to the palate. Put that down. Somebody write that down. I want to put that in as a... Sucker punch to the palate. Yeah. That's a good write that name, down. By the way. Mm. Wow, that's, that's really nice. good. Man. I don't think I've ever had quinoa in my mouth before, but it's working. It's working. Is that what you call it? Yeah, it's working. Well, that's that's, that's what that's what Josh called it. <laughs> well, that's tasty. Vinny sharing the beer on his final episode today. Oh wow! Today. That is right up my alley. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. Three, so it's right. Very sessionable. Yeah. You can drink. Right up my alley. Yeah, really. It, after Dragons and Yum Yums, I should have added an additional yum and just made it this. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Really, you know? Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Yum, 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 really. Yum, yum, yum. Like an unnecessary amount of yums. Please, sir. May I have some more? Mm. There isn't any more, sir. Look at that. So we're all you can lick the, the can. can. Yeah, you can lick the Here. I, never mind. Wait. <laughs> wow. It's really tasty, though. Man. You're right. It does. It, it has toasted quinoa in it. 
Quinoa. 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 Yeah. See, as can can you tell I'm can you tell I'm reading? Yeah. <laughs> Rob, I've never had Rob will tell you how to pronounce before, it. but I think it's out of Africa or Alaska. Quinoa uh, and beans, I think, is pretty good. Or very, quinoa very good. <laughs> quinoa what? Lancaster. Yeah. Josh, one of the things I'm really impressed with this beer is the restraint use of salt. A lot of people in Gozas now are putting too much salt in it. It overwhelms the beer. There's just... Almost gets briny. Yeah, this has just a hint. Really well done. And uh, Sam Calagione, the owner of Dogfish Head, is a fellow Italian. Really? (laughs) Well, look at that. Shout out. So he's a he's a fellow paisan. Yeah, there I you go. I want freak out over your shirt once. So that's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey Josh, that's good pretty good. So okay, we found an edit point. Yeah. So guys, we kind of brought one together. We talked about it. everybody knows the white claw craze that's going on. Yes. yes. Yep. So they have a pure white claw, which is it's white claw without flavor. Essentially, it's it's just a pure seltzer. That way, you're not going with the mangoes or the, just something. Somebody wants a base for it, and I. They're looking for people to kind of flavor their own thing. Mio's. Okay. Yeah, the Mio's. Oh. Exactly what we've done. So you could add the flavor? Is that what you're saying? We're going to try it first. There it is. And we're going to try it with Orange Crush. Uh, oh. We find oh. a Mio on the way in. Show so, Magic Mike that. We're going to try it first without any Magic Mike. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh. <Whoa. laughs> the Mio. <laughs> Didn't know we get the full dance, but it's good. <laughs> I'm going to tell all you right. why, Vinny. Yep. This is you all right. Tell, you can tell right. it's this last show. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and uh, try it without it, and then we'll mix it in a big cup and kind of uh, pour it out of there like you okay. guys know. All right. So um, White Claw has been around, as we know, for a while. Yep. Um, it's a, a seltzer. Uh, this one is actually how many calories in this bad boy? Uh, 100? I believe like 90. Yeah. Where is it there? 100 calories. Yep. And um, no and sugar, no anything added. 5%. Yeah. And no carbs as well. Yeah, no carbs. Oh, wow. I believe it's five percent. No well. carbs. Zero. No car- well, so most white claws are two carbs. Yeah. yeah. This has none. Uh, wow. There's nothing. None carbs. So okay. now, if you add something, it's going to have carbs. Are those extra carbs in the other ones coming from the flavor, or it's is it? Air. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I would assume. Basically. And, and, and by most people in this room, we're definitely watching our carbs these mm-hmm. days. Yes. Yeah. 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 There's a little bit yeah. why I haven't consumed That's anything that you've added. <laughs> well, I'm I'm watching my carbs. I'm watching them add up. <laughs> yeah, I'll try that one. I was thinking you were looking a little svelte there. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, trying. Mr. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't know why I even try to smell it. I just like it's like the first thing I did was stuck in my nose. Oh, so. it smells like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just did the same thing. Would you, say pure? you smell like nothing. It tastes like, buddy. It tastes like I bet it tastes like carbonated. Oh, it tastes vodka. like weak ass vodka. <laughs> Riggs, you know what I want to taste oh, yeah. in here? Oh, it does. Yeah, it does. I want to taste yeah. that Goza in here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh. oh. There you go. Yeah. 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 Hello. <laughs> How many more of those cans you got there, Vin? <laughs> I think we just got our first. Uh oh, we comboed. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Do it, Vinny. You assess. So, so, when Amanda, <laughs> my wife gets the Mio's and puts them in the White Claws a lot Any, of times. So I think she would wow. prefer this. Right. Yeah. Because it's actually wow. tinctured flavors, right? right? Yeah. So, and especially. Good hybrid. And the no carbs. Right. Uh, well, it depends what you squirt in it. Yeah, right. It kind of cuts down that super. It isn't that true about a lot of stuff in life. <laughs> That's true about a lot of stuff in life, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's another edit point. Yep. Uh, wow. Okay. I get it. I get it. Where you make your own. It's like build your own beverage. I don't know if Dogfish right. Head would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> or White Claw. Was this the mix? White Claw. They would appreciate that. So yeah, what like, we're going to do. a marketing idea. Because we're going to try a little orange crush in there. So it's oh, just yeah. a sugar-free, carb-free <laughs> version of crush? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Of course you know. It's sugar-free. It's sugar-free. It's sugar-free, it's sugar-free yeah. Oh, it is sugar-free. It has the word free on the front. Does but. it say it have carbs, though? Um, make me look at carb things here. Uh, total carbs, zero. Oh! Zero is it made with aspartame? aspartame? Absolutely. <laughs> right, look, no, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. How, much, you're how, to get how much quinoa is in this son <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but there's some quinoa in there. There's a guy. There's quinoa, yeah. A lot of quinoa. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Put some in your ice real quick. Yeah. Where is it? It's sitting right there. Yeah. Just get that right. Look at that. I just mixed myself up one. Look at that. Oh. It's like Easter egg dying. Oh, it's it's almost Easter. It's like Easter egg dying, oh, Vinny. There you go. There's your Easter Exciting. egg right there. Mm. <laughs> oh, that makes sense right there. That makes That's drink sense. Good. Well, that does look interesting. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But white claw, they do. I hope that doesn't taint. 
Yeah. Vinny, Vinny uh, why are your cups so much larger than everybody else's? Yeah. <laughs> they don't have that flavor currently, so yeah, Josh, something a little different. Josh picked orange because they don't have it. Right? It's good, though. It's really good. I hope it doesn't taint your beard. Ah, never mind. It'll oh, look good, yeah. It's a good thing. That's interesting. Vinny's yeah. got a new go-to drink. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that works. Get it all set. That's the one you drink in the club. That's, that's it. Everybody you know? in the club. That's right. <laughs> Don't ever do that again, Vinny. <laughs> Is the door unlocked? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's like Fanta Crush. <laughs> but I think more sugar in it. I don't think they diluted it. He did. I probably it, it, didn't. No, uh, but yeah, you actually, can, there's a straw crush flavor. Crush. Yeah. It's still good. But it's there. still pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I told you it was chunky, bro. Yeah. Look at Ed multitasking over there. <laughs> what we got, what you, there's zero carbs in that. You get more than two things in a Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> that looks chunky. One, one sip. See, this is what yeah, the mad. Okay, this is what the mad craft beer scientists actually, do on their spare time, <laughs> right here. This is how the magic happens. You're that's seeing it. It's like behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, that's kind of the white claw. You can actually use Mio's. You can mix it with drinks, whatever you want to do with it. Like he said, they're going after that market of uh, flavor it yourself, right? Just yeah. come out because it's hard to come up with all kinds of different flavors. Yeah. So these guys can do what, where, and how. Um, worked out pretty good. If I want to squirt some cucumber vodka in that thing, so be it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start moving on to the fellas that are here. Uh, and brought some of their beers. All right. Um, so we're going to work with. Uh, where'd yours go, Jeremy? Mine's in the icy. Nice. Oh, okay. Jeremy's going to um, be icy cold. So we're going to work with. Uh, why don't we start with yours first, Jeremy? And then we'll go to Greg. Hand Jeremy a mic. Let me hand Jeremy a mic so you talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. All right. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and pass this over to Jeremy, uh, Tampa Bay Bruin. Um, all you yeah, buddy? so uh, this is Double Coast Lager. Um, it, it, honestly, it's our new one. Just came out this month. It will be year round. Um, it is. I mean, it's just a simple lager. It's four one alcohol, and uh, we did use rice and corn. I have not had this beer yet. Bud Light's gonna be mind blown. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I've seen. I've seen you. I've seen it on social media many times, but I have not no. put it in my uh, face. Dude, I don't know. I mean, I think why, why did they vilify us. corn syrup? Like, it's it's not a terrible thing. Everything we use well, is a sugar. I don't, I don't know if you know, but Bush has corn syrup in it. Oh well, what? I think they're trying to confuse. <laughs> did did you that. did you say you're using corn rice syrup. and corn? Syrup. Rice isn't normally it's something used in beer, is it? Yeah, Bud Light's made with rice. Oh, okay. Well, mm-hmm. I didn't I didn't know. You yeah. literally missed all the commercials for Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. 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 Every package of Bud Light right now. Right. Literally. literally. I mean, you can even so, see it. They don't. They don't. They don't put yeast in there, but they put everything else. Mm. So Josh actually had a point as well. Uh, I think they're trying to confuse the consumer. You know, high fructose corn syrup's been this huge thing for a while. Whereas corn syrup, if you confuse the consumer, you know, you potentially can. And steal well, some I, of that. I agree, and I think a lot of what a lot of people don't know is the way they're structured. Is every is its own separate entity, and nobody knows what the f- going on between everybody oh, else. Yeah, that's right. Beep. We got it. We're all I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's kind of awesome. Right, we're going to move on this room. It only took him to do it first. I, <laughs> it sounds about right. It would be me. <laughs> it's your second time. But anyway, is it? Yeah, you dropped an S-bomb a few minutes ago. Oh, he didn't mean to. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Um, anyways, the logger year-round. Um, we're So we're going to actually go slow growth with it. We don't want to go ahead and force it in the market. We want to just grow it slowly. I think I think people are going to like this one a lot. It's easy drinking beer. Um, it, I mean, it's uh, there's craft loggers are kind of the I don't want to say the hot thing right now, but they are. But you know, the thing is, is people are looking for those lower alcohol, um, lower carb beers, and this is going to fit the bill for a lot of those folks. Good. I will tell you, I can tell you're very excited about this beer because you can cut diamonds with that thing. This is, every, this is every day, buddy. Oh but I'm really excited that I gave you a, uh, a special Show treat. the camera. Show the camera. <laughs> you know, I'd be I'd be even more excited if I had a beer to try. Yeah, that's true. You need to do you need yeah, a new beer. That's not my job. That's their job. Vinny, oh, that's why go. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good observation, by the way. All right, so this I'm, I'm going to give you a chug, I'm gonna give you a chug video close. later. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, yes. I'll put pasties on it. <laughs> I'll get in on that, too. Keep it off. I couldn't help it. You're staring at me. Yeah. So, we, uh, I got to say, that's a nice lot. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm going to start to answer. Yeah. He's uh, getting excited. <laughs> we did all that. I got him going. This is no. like, just like derail the radio show. We might have been <laughs> You're listening to <laughs> Nipple Talk with Vinny and Jeremy. <laughs> I actually never said that word. Uh, but anyway, get back to it. The lager is really nice. No, it's really good. Uh, I, I, it, you know, I, I go fishing a lot, and this would be a good fishing beer. I really like yeah, it a lot. Absolutely. And if you know, I mean, I'm sure you know David Dole, um, that he's he's a fisherman, and our brand is Florida Lifestyle Brand, and that's that's what he made this for. Us. Yeah. Yeah, the Double Family, they have three breweries in the country. They have yeah. uh, Aviator, um, Emporium, uh, Explorium. Explorium? Explorium, yes. Yep. And that's uh, Mike Doble. In Wisconsin? Doble. Yeah. So one in Wisconsin, one in North Carolina, one here. So between all three breweries, they produced over 50,000 barrels of beer last year. Really? I think so. So, yeah, yeah that, that family is strong. Yep. Uh, the Doble and they, Family is strong. And they do a... Um, they do a uh, what do you call it? A scholarship for somebody here in Florida. I don't know if that ties into the other breweries, but they do a scholarship for a brewer to be sent to Siebel Institute every year uh, and train up there too. So, you know, I just realized if somebody's watching the, uh, the YouTube uh, uh, broadcast of this and saw you two, it looks like a rap battle. <laughs> <laughs> How silly would that look? <laughs> yeah. Just don't drop the mics. We pay for those. You cannot drop those. They're very important. All right. So I think we should move on. All right. So I was we'll just going to say that. Greg. That's my line. What do you have, buddy? Oh, my turn. What did Greg bring? I brought our new release. It is our Circus Peanut Hefeweizen. Oh, man. So, uh,. Uh, oh, I guess about two years ago, one of my uh, founding members uh, loves the candy circus peanuts. No, quick, Whoa, around the room, who li- who loves circus peanuts? Oh, oh, yes. I do. Favorite thing on the planet. I love circus peanuts. See, we are in the minority, are we? So, so are you telling us that this is going to taste like circus peanuts? Well, we hope so, yeah. What kind of beer is it? <laughs> what is it? Is it a wheat? So it's a, yeah, it's a Hefeweizen. So don't know if it tastes like circus peanuts. And uh, I personally don't like the candy so i fought it for a year and a half oh boy and then because my founding member uh uh, jim st john is so passionate about my brewery (laughs) and really uh spends a lot of money in my brewery i said well i got to do this i got to do this for him that is his thing and uh so i made it and uh oh it's it's like one of our our uh, fun seasonal release it's like if a a orange dream signal Um, went rogue I like it. It tastes just like you put circus peanuts into a beer. Yeah. So most people don't realize that a circus peanut uh, is not actually peanut flavored. It's yeah. banana Marsh- and yeah. marshmallow. Marshmallow and banana. This is this is awesome, and I'm not a circus I peanut fan. This. Yeah. But I'm a fan of this beer. Did you choose the Hefeweizen because the yeast produces a banana flavor as well to kind of accentuate that? Absolutely. So during fermentation, we can uh, ferment at a higher temperature to give it that banana ester. Mr. Greg. Yes, sir. Absolutely nailed the circus peanut. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely nailed it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Absolutely nailed it. Yeah. Try the nose on that alone. Oh, so here's my question. Can you put it in a bag? Yeah. <laughs> like circus peanuts? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have I've seen milk in a bag. So. <laughs> so on our release, we actually had circus peanuts, and we put the circus peanut on the edge of the glass, and people were tipping the whole candy into the beer. Oh, nice. It was getting all mushy and chunky. <laughs> we cannot skip over the fact that you just said you've seen milk in a bag. Canada, man. So ca- they have milk wait, in a bag in Canada? They used to serve them in schools uh, really? around here. So, <laughs> had a had 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 from. Okay. did you have a bunch of guys sitting around and you're in the back room trying to compare this to circus, circus peanuts and changing your recipe back and forth until you got there? Well, now it is a rap battle. Well, yes. Uh, yeah, it is. A, <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, we, we did. We, we, we kept nibbling on the candy and we tasted the beer and nibbled on the candy and like, okay, there, you know, that's that's the amount we need. To I want that there. job. That's exceptional. <laughs> 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 Rob's right, right there. I mean, it, brewing. <laughs> it's I straight up nails. Numbers after that. I mean. Uh, you know, uh, I have to uh, take my uh, my shot in the gut. Yeah, every couple. No. Nailed it though. Absolutely. That's really yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. Job, yeah. Greg. I'm gonna commend you on that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nice. You know, I think he's the first one to get a clap in here for yeah, for the taste of his beer. It's, it would it would get a clap. It would only be better. <laughs> well, that's my Navy days. Only Ra- be better if your face was on the can. Radio right. edit. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you very much, Greg. I appreciate that. What's uh, next? Why don't we go into Alcatraz? Oh, uh, Steve, yeah. are you, yes. Are you fresh from swimming? Uh, <laughs> are you seeing a shark? Or yeah. You're still a crazy SOB. That's all i got to say for swimming the Alcatraz thing. And you're not even trying to get out of jail. You're doing it just to do it. I'm just I doing just, it to do it. <laughs> got to be something going on up there. That's all i got to say. While you're in Lancaster, right? Mm-hmm. Not yeah. Lancaster, right. but right. Lancaster. No. I will be in San Francisco this summer for the 16th year in a row of doing the Alcatraz swim. You're doing it again. And this will be the sixth year in a row that I will do it NWNHNG. No wetsuit, no hood, no goggles. Do they have like a shark thing where, you, where, where you're not uh, running the risk of encountering uh, no any... The, the, any... Here, here's what I figure on yeah. that one, Riggs. The trick is... You're not on the right side. You're not on the left side. You're not at the very front. You're not at the very back. That's right. That's right. That's right. You did it right. You put 800 people in the water. Yeah. The odds are really astronomical yeah. against you being the one that gets yeah, thrown. Yeah, but I've seen Jaws. They come up from the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even then, he's got to pick me out of like 1,600 or 1,597 legs. So that's true. Now listen, Good point. If, if you and I were swimming in the water together, which I couldn't do that because I'm not in shape, but if you and I were swimming in the water together, together, I think you have a better chance. Come to I, I mean. <laughs> If he could feed his family, his uncle, his aunt, his sister, his brother, they'd be all set. If they call the way that lions do, I think that's true. <laughs> maybe, so, we get, maybe we can get the two of you in a hot tub later and see how it works out. We were talking earlier, and you said this is a uh, different batch. Yeah, so well, that's that's actually the story I wanted to tell briefly. Um, you know, I've had the good fortune uh, being on the show to tell a little bit of the story about my brewery. But uh, this batch, so one of the things I'm trying to do with Alcatraz Double IPA is continuous improvement on every batch that we make. And the most common uh, premise in the craft beer world is to try to make the same beer over and over again and reproduce it exactly. And I can understand why, from a consumer standpoint, you'd want that, because you want to know what you can depend on. You want to go get a beer that you you expect to have. With Alcatraz, I'm doing things a little bit differently. Um, This is not following the latest trend. It doesn't have any... Belgian yeast in it. It doesn't have any habanero peppers. It doesn't have any mango. It doesn't have any haze to it. Uh, This is a very retro style uh, West Coast uh, double IPA. Uh, And this is the fourth batch of the beer. And you guys are the first people to taste this beer outside of the brewers and the people that I have uh, tasted the initial sample. Thank you. So you're very welcome. So Vinny is getting to taste this beer for the first time. And I'm going to be interested in his reaction. It's very, very similar to what you guys had the last time. Uh, is it alcohol's, smoother? It's, alcohol's a little bit higher. Okay. We were running about two-tenths of a percent low, and you'd be surprised at what a difference that can make. We did a little bit le- less of a, claus- a calcium chloride addition, just a slight a bit less, and I think we really hit the filtration this time. And so this is the beer that I've been trying to achieve since I started Alcatraz. Wow. So I'm going to be honest. I think it's, uh, it's a lot more uh, balanced. Um, I'm not getting that super hop on the back. Um, it's really good. It's, it's a lot more balanced. I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to the, the new craft guy. What do you think? He hasn't poured it in his yeah. mouth yet. While he's pouring yeah. his drink. <laughs> Get him a straw, <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> it's really good. Wow. It's delicious. It's nice, right? Yeah. Very clean. Good job. Nice, nice, Thank you. So, so basically what you're getting is a little bit less of that lingering bitterness, to your point, and a little bit more aromatic. Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and the alcohol just rounds the palate out a little bit more, that little, yeah, little really bit higher alcohol. Like New England, New England it, it, it's interesting because it is a traditional West Coast style, but the New England style, not the hazy style, but to your point, the New England style moved in that direction at the same time that the West Coast moved away from it. With San Diego, <laughs> think about it, with San Diego and with Vinny Chalurzo, they went to a, a, a golden style on the West Coast. With Sam, Chaluso, with, just Sam, with Sam, the New England style went to a malty style. Just so and you know, so I'm doing traditional West Coast style, which is now actually, to your point, more similar to a New England style. It's, just so you know, Vinny Treluso is uh, Russian River. So you guys, oh. they do uh, Pliny the Elder, Pliny Blind the Younger. Pig. Um, yeah, so the, the most famous on this side is Pliny the Elder and, yep. and Pliny the Younger. Right. So that's what he's talking about. He was one of the innovators out there with uh, Ken Grossman from Sierra Nevada uh, to really create that stuff out there. And, you know, Jim Cook from Stone and, and those guys all got together to really understand what the West Coast IPA and Pale Ales are. I tasted your last batch when the last time you were in here. This one, 
I think you've nailed it, man. Yeah, Thank you. this is very Thank good. You very much. It yeah. means a lot to me. Thank and, you guys. And fresh from the teat too. No, you can't beat that, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> For the record, my jammies are tough. Oh, you got you got. Yeah, I got. I had a different one. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. This is you don't have the alcohol esters in there. You know, with a double IPA, you a lot of times you get the that alcohol burn. Uh, this is really the malt uh, uh, content in there really smooths it out and makes it nice. Good job. Thank you. It's 15% roasted malt, 9% Vienna, and 6% Cara 40. And I think that goes a long way towards balancing what that virulence bitterness that you sometimes get. Look at that science that you're carrying around in your brain. Hold on. Now I can make malt Alcatraz. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> oh, my God. Let it go. And I told myself before coming on, don't reveal everything. <laughs> well, you forgot to mention the quinoa. Oh, wait. Oh, Never mind. <laughs> So the last one we're going to work with uh, is another double IPA, but this one kind of sets itself apart from other double IPAs because it uses cane sugar. So I'm going to let Pete go ahead and talk about how uh, Twisted Cane came about and what it's about. Yeah, well, obviously when we opened and we were always very important for us to try to use uh, Florida ingredients. and. Um, uh, one kind of came about that uh, when we opened the Port Orange location, uh, the mayor of Port Orange came in to do some kind of, you know, like ribbon cutting. So tar- started talking to um, him, and we find out he owns a sugar cane plantation down in South Florida somewhere. So I said I can get some fresh um, pressed cane juice for us for um, our IP. So we basically got, you know, um, s- some of that from him. And uh, I obviously, you know, wanted to make something with it, and we decided to go for a double IPA um, on that. So, like, obviously, as I said, it's important for us to use Florida ingredients. You know, in our that our beers to be using a lot of fruit that is comes from a different um, regions of Florida. And so, this one we decided to use um, cane sugar. Uh, it's about nine percent alcohol, and it really became one of our most popular beers. You know, that we sell in house and in package too now. So, um, can you repeat the ABV on that? It's not almost nine percent. Uh, Nine percent. Nine percent. There's hey, some what, smoky happening. What is the uh, legal uh, alcohol limit you guys can brew? Is it 14 here in Florida? I don't think Florida no, has any. Oh, there is one. Illegal okay. limit okay. Really? Florida. Unchained. We are, yeah, we are. We are one of those states that, thank God, there's no no limits that's because not, that's, that's how you can sell Sam Adams Utopia. Yeah. Oh. No, you can sell it. Whoa. We were talking about where right? you can sell. Uh, right. Up to a certain, uh, you could sell anything, but I had heard there was a limit on how much you could brew, That'd so there was the a difference. Worst law ever. You can sell somebody else's product at a higher ABV, but you can't brew it. Look. Yeah, well, that's that was one of the things they were talking about. And listen, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Going to Pennsylvania, there is some messed up laws up there. I'm trying to figure everything out. Up really? There. It's going to be interesting. If you yeah. do it without power, you're fine. It's all different. M- <laughs> mandatory beers, right? You got so the, I uh, get it. You got the Amish and stuff up I'm there? Gonna, I'm going to do an Amish chub just for him. When really? Up there. I like there, to see I'm that. Gonna do, I'm going to have to do a ninja Amish chub because they'll probably get upset okay. if I was chugging right. a part of them. <laughs> Well, no, I hear they like alcohol over beer, so we'll we'll get it figured out. Vinny, you're going to be a Mennonite in the end of the uh, end of the end of the year, anyway. So whatever. <laughs> did you say Mennonite or Mennonite? Yeah, <laughs> we'll dub one of those in. Both of them, really. Yeah, yeah. The one and the only. Well, that's cr- that's. Uh, Pete, this that's is uh, delicious, surprisingly uh, smooth, super enjoyable, and I love that story about the mayor giving you the uh, cane juice and squeezing yeah, it out. Cool. Yeah, and, and just so everybody knows, Pete is actually a happy guy. It doesn't sound like it or look like it. <laughs> yeah. Pete is actually a very happy fella. And, and we talked about Steve being crazy and, and swimming the, the channel for no particular reason. Yeah. Pete likes to run Ironmans for no reason. I, I heard know, Pete did an like, Ironman. The guy's like 40-something years old and he's running Ironman. Yeah. I guess wow. he's got something to prove. I don't know. I can lumber an Ironman and kind of, you know, maybe fit it, finish in like seven days. I can listen to the song before I have to pee. Exactly. Like <laughs> Manny, I, think, I think you could lumber an Alcatraz. I probably could. <laughs> I just sit there and float. I got enough blubber it'll take me across. Just walk along the bottom with a tank. Get your arm floaties. Yeah. So I do want to say before we head out of here, um, Guy Riggs. Yeah. Thank you for inviting me out to the show. Uh, it's been a year and year and a half now. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you guys putting up with all my bull crap um, Please. And, and get everything all set. I am going to miss you guys. Um, yeah, I'll miss you too, buddy. It's going to be uh, interesting up there. My new position is a little bit different than the position down here. Um, and nobody knows me, so I can reinvent myself. Yeah. I can be that little quiet guy <laughs> that doesn't know anything or just right. I can be that guy that sits in the corner and yeah. does the whole lot. Well, you know, for, for, so yeah, yeah, for, everybody, for, for everybody in here, it is difficult to make a new start in life at his advanced age. Is there anything positive? <laughs> If you could say, if you could say one nice thing about Vinny, we can go around the room. Let's go around. 
around the horn. One nice thing about Vinny. Sentence or word, whatever comes to your mind first. Uh, thanks for taking a chance on me when I moved here uh, almost, God, almost five years ago. You brought me into the beard and see out here, even though I kind of got banned out in Louisiana. <laughs> you uh, you took me under the wing, and uh, I appreciate it, man. Listen, Thank you. All, you did it all on your own. All I did was tell those guys to hire you because you knew your crap. So that's <laughs> the whole thing. That they, was that was legit. In. I thought everybody was going to shit on you. No, and then no, now no, you're no, like, no. <laughs> come on. I no, I'm being honest. We're not done yet. The first day, the first day I met, first day I met him. Yeah. They come out and they go, hey, Vinny, 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 we got a guy who knows about crafts. We got a guy who knows about crafts. Yeah. I talk to him. So I go in, I talk to him. I walked out, I said, hire him. They're like, yeah. what? I said, hire him. I said, we know he's, I said, hire him. <laughs> yeah. right. so, and then I didn't want to hire him. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah. You did a great job, man. And thank you, Jeremy, for all you've done. You've yeah. done a lot out here. For sure. Bringing people yeah. up and, and doing all that. You've been an awesome human being. And, and keep it up. And remember, I'll get you some more uh, Yacht Rock record albums oh. when I'm up I want it, too. Okay. Please, please do. We have uh, that. So, you guys had you put some you put some Michael McDonald in my lap. I'm on. I Wait. heard I heard that you had Michael <laughs> in your lap. <laughs> Christopher Cross. Let me rephrase. Rob, go ahead. Give me up. Go ahead. I don't know if you know Christopher Cross. Yes. Like best friend. I, I just want to say Amish chugs. That's all I want to say. You got it. And, and I love you, too. You got it. Love you too, bro. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Man. Yeah, all right, I bring the house down. Appreciate it. All right, so Vinny, uh, again, I've known you forever. You took me under your wing, just that like Jeremy. That was a big mistake, by the way, taking him under. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see the size of this kid? I had to take him under both wings. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> From the days of riding around in your truck, uh, watching uh, what you do to learning this business, and uh, uh, to drink it twenty-eight beers in two hours up in Turpin. Yeah, we got yes, it. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff of legends, and my life would not be the same without you. So it's going to really be weird not having you here thank you so much i love you man and uh i hope to come up and visit you real soon and you better be back down here for volusia beer week i i appreciate it man i'm gonna try to get back down here. and thank you for everything and make sure you you you, you take care of pete all right it took me a long time to get this son of a bitch signed get them all set it took me a long time to understand what he was saying so just understand <laughs> you don't have to understand what i'm saying <laughs> That's, That's why I text him. <laughs> That's email, you know, yeah. like I don't answer those. You know that. <laughs> But seriously, man, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, I worked with you for six years, you know, and it was always fun. You know, uh, you did a lot for our, our, you know, brewery and um, everything. So I really wish you the best up there. You know, I'm definitely visit you, you know. Uh, when I told you, come get your ass up there. I will. I want to take you in front of the Amish people and let them talk to you and see what their face looks like. <laughs> 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 now, I'm serious. You, Jed, come up. I appreciate everything. You you, you were one of the first local that we signed uh, and, and, and get out there and... Work. And, uh, and and fights and, and do all that kind of stuff. So I appreciate everything you've done. Um, and, and you paved the way for a lot of a lot of people out here to, to kind of go. Uh, continue brewing a good beer. Continue, you know, making the good food over there. And uh, continue being a good human being. And uh, continue collecting vinyl, dude. That's uh, that's one thing we all do here. I think that's we right. all have that in common. Yep. Except for Ed. He eats vinyl, but everybody else here. <laughs> I do. Magic Mike has a vinyl surprise for you coming up, too. Ooh. So let me know about that. I don't, I don't collect right, yacht rock. I collect, like, rock. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, good. almost. Better. You collect that band Rush or whatever. Oh! We get all set. oh. <laughs> Canada just took a shot in the crank. All right. Dang it. (laughs) All right, Steve. Vinny is the the new kid on the block, apparently, in this room, having known you for just a year now. Um, I wanted to uh, thank you for two things. First of all, bringing Alcatraz in at a time where the beer was completely unknown, no track record, uh, right out of the gate. And uh, you were the one person that, as I, uh, I went around and knocked on doors, got the concept immediately, understood what we were trying to, what I was trying to achieve, and uh, so I, I greatly appreciate that. Number two, um, you're leaving a huge gap because you're the one person that I could sit down to and start talking about the history of craft beer and about different styles of beer around the world, and you get it all instantly, and then you've got that ingrained in you, and I think that's going to be a huge asset as you go forward. Well, I appreciate that, Stephen. And seriously, thank you for taking a chance on us, uh, getting your situation going. Um, I am not gonna lie to you; I thought you're a crazy son of a one I met, yeah. uh, yeah. but uh, yeah. in a good way. So, yeah. and I appreciate you've taught me stuff too. So, you know, you've taught me not to be afraid. Get out there and just uh, seize your dream and, and go. So, I appreciate it. Uh, just so everybody knows, I actually got a job at a distributorship up there that was not looking for anybody. I cold called talk my way into a job and they never called my previous company they hired me so 
So <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? <laughs> do we know this job is legitimate? <laughs> <laughs> we go into some place and there's gonna be a guy with a camera waiting. I don't know. It might yeah. be. Just, yeah. just make sure you yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, "Who's this guy?" Uh, no, you don't have a job. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what. You're on get the out. If it all turns so, out to be a sham, we'll kick intern Steve out and you can come but, back. But listen, right? I do. I, I will. Yeah. Uh, just so you guys know, all you local guys down here, uh, when I get up there and get established. You want to come up into the Philly, Pennsylvania area? Oh, who wouldn't you want know, to do you that? Let me know because I know some of the guys did that. Cigar City did that years ago. You let me know. You make sure you've got somebody behind you. Is he coaching right that. now? Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like it. Absolutely. Yeah. It's insider trading. Oh, it's my turn. Greg, do it. <laughs> Greg's Can got a song. Put Greg? You, want to, you want to cue the music? I'm so glad we had this time together. <laughs> can somebody put Greg on their shoulders so I can see him? <laughs> no, Mike. Mike. I don't have to remember that reference. Magic Mike can enhance the video. You're lucky I, I love your Italian half. <laughs> uh, no, Vinny, uh, it, you know, I was a home brewer. Uh, I was in law enforcement thinking ahead you know what am I going to do after retirement and you always encouraged me you know keep coming out to these festivals and and you believed in me and as soon as I opened my brewery you guys were all over it so I appreciate that very much uh, best to you and your wife up there I know uh, it, it starting new is exciting and scary at the same time but uh, if there's anyone who can do it it's you uh, and that's all the nice things I'm going to say about you because really you've been <laughs> yeah that's it's really enough <laughs> I, I do I do appreciate it. I do have to tell one quick story. Um, when Greg came to me and he said, hey, we want to start distributing, I walked into my boss, who's who's Italian, and I sat down, and he's Miami Italian, and I'm New York Italian. So I sat down. He's Jewish, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, sat down, I sat down, and I said, hey, boss, I said I got a new brewery. And I wasn't even thinking. I'm like, yeah, he's a great guy. I've known him for years. Uh, he's awesome, good beer. Named the brewery's Wops Hops. So he's going to be great. His mouth dropped, and he's looking at me, and he goes, what did you just say? I said, it's called Wops Hops. I'm like half Italian, so I'm like halfway thinking about it. I'm like, well, I never thought of it that way. And then talking to you, you're like, hey, Vinny, it's a, it's a sign of uh, a family and, and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I explained to him. You know, in the movies, it's it's it, you know, it's a derogatory, but it's not because it's not followed up with something else. Right. So yeah. that was the funniest day of my life when I talked to him and I said, Wops Ops. And he was like, excuse me? <laughs> and all set. So it's a great company. I love your company. Um, and, and he's... We've talked about it. Uh, we're, we're getting you better and better this year and get you up to where you need to be. And he's going to fight hard for you because, uh, you know, he told me a lot of good stuff about you as well. And I said, that's a lie, but he didn't. <laughs> so we're all set. So thank you, Greg, for everything. And continue brewing the crazy-ass beers that you brew with the peanut and, yeah. and the coconuts. And, oh, you know what? That reminds me, guys. We're going to finish this off with a special beer I brought. Oh, you brought um, a surprise beer? Yes, I did. Oh, Ooh, surprise yeah. beer. Oh, this is the last year's. Wops Hops Copper Bottom Collaboration. Uh, oh. Greg gave me a bottle. I put it on my shelf in the office, and oh. I said to myself, this new guy taking over is not getting any of my beer in there. <laughs> oh, I'm going to wow. drink it all. And it's so, getting nothing but better on his shelf in exact. the office. <laughs> so it's, it was out of the light. It was in the cool area. It was all set. So um, I want to open this up, and we're going to go. I want to pass it over a little bit to the new guy and let him kind of express how he feels and how he's going to treat everybody. I love putting him on the spot. Um, so we're going to go. So you I, could do it, but I can't. I'll definitely do it. You can put him on the spot. It's it depends on how you put him on that well, spot. We'll I love you, Vinny. We should put Vinny on the spot for a second. I said the, when we came up with the idea for this segment mm -hmm. of the show, mm -hmm. and it was shot down over and over again. And they said, "Talk to Vinny." Mm -hmm. So I thought a guy looked like Greg. That'd be, that'd be Vinny with a lot of chains. Yeah. Maybe no protection. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it was you. It was me. No chains at all. Because I'm Irish and Thai. Yeah. So I, 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 I drink a lot, hold a grudge, and hate myself. Yeah, so I've been, so confu I've been confused for like a whole year. I just figured it out. Now you're leaving, you damn Whoa. son of a bitch. Whoa. Oh. 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 <laughs> he just squirted all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a special effect that Magic Mike put in there. That's what happens when you leave it in the shelf. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. The emotions are too much. At it this is. Point. It is. In lieu of in lieu of crying, Vinny just spurted. 
Hey, that goes back to that. Never. But your shirt says differently. Right. So. <laughs> so also, Josh, so we can let you know, it's never this crazy in here. Yeah. So yeah. Th- it, it's a uh, it's it's a good it's first always. experience for you. It, next week is going to be much more calm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listen, we did. Well, now you set the bar too high. That's right. We, we did a Christmas special, and there was Are like the thirty beer. There was thirty people in here. I, I need cups. No That's more. right. Yeah. That's right. The holiday edition had uh, oh, had smells, more oh, people than this. Oh, I can people smell on the shoulders, and I can smell the rum. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Hey, hey watch those pours. You got a lot to go around. Yeah, you got to give me a delicate <laughs> pour. I'll, I'll take well, a baby you pour. So much, Ed. That's what I'm trying to share. Oh, there is. Oh man, I want to go to the beach. Stat. You can smell this. Oh my god. Wow. What's happening in here, Greg? It smells like rum. Uh, so we took our Paradiso coconut rum and aged it in copper barrel, uh, copper bottom. Rum barrel. At those two uh, double IPAs back to back kind of got. To me. Yeah, no, I understand. Um, Tell me about it. So, uh, and, and we aged it for six months, and that was uh, this bottle's a year and a half old because we're wow. getting ready to release the the new barrel in the second one. Yeah. How come Jeremy's not here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know if I got I forgot the call. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Jeremy, I'm sorry. You know what? We'll dub him in. No yeah, problem. Yeah, we will. We'll yeah. do that. We'll dub yeah, him. Yeah, no sweat. Drop you him right have in a here. Cut out of him in the closet, don't you? Huh? We have hologram technology. Don't yeah, you? yeah, we got that. We already. Thank done you, that. thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, before you're done with Pete, Pete's not actually here. Oh wow, he was Everybody busy. He had a meeting. Nicely. Cheers to you, Vinny. All right, well, Vinny. Cheers. Vinny, to this the brewery view. Listen, this is to the brewery view. This is all you breweries. Make sure you kick ass out there. Show everybody how Florida can brew, um, and what Florida can do, and keep it going. Because you know what, Florida's new to the to the game, but we're growing fast, and you're growing furiously, and you guys are doing an amazing job out there brewing beer. So keep up your dreams, keep everything going, enjoy yourself. I, myself, like I say, I'm going to reinvent myself. I'm going to be a quiet guy. Nobody's going to know who I am. So you're getting your mouth stitched? So, so, yeah. Salute! <laughs> Salute! For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Which, which nobody can deny. Huzzah! <laughs>